Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. My name is Asuiken McKinsley. In this video, I'm going to show you major things you have to put in consideration before signing up in any exchange. This is very, very important. This particular video is very, very important if you're going into cryptocurrency. If you want to buy crypto that you want to keep and hold for a very long time, or you want to start trading cryptocurrency. So make sure you watch this video to the end so that you won't be a victim of these terrible mistakes. Because of one of these mistakes I'm going to show you now, which is the major reason why I'm making this video. A friend of mine lost 200 and something thousand dollars just last week. Catcoin pumped to 20,000 percent. And this guy made a lot, a lot of money. And at the end, he couldn't get access to the wallet within the time frame the pump happened. Now, let me explain this thing a little further for you guys. A friend of mine bought Catcoin as of second week of January, and he bought Catcoin of $1,150. He used $1,150 to buy Catcoin. Now, this Catcoin, as of third week of February, the Catcoin went to 20,000%. Now, this is what exactly got into this guy's account. 20,000%. This is 20,000 percent divided by 100 equals 200 times multiplied by the $1,150 he bought, he used in buying the coin equals the money he made was $230,000. Now he couldn't get this money out, he couldn't get access to this money just because of what? He lost his phone just four days or three days before this cat coin pumped and he is not the one that registered the number. So there was no way you could get the number out. And before you can do any transaction or pull money out from any of these exchanges, you must have to get a code on your phone to be able to make a transfer. This is the reason why people make a lot of money with crypto coins. Now, assuming you bought a coin and you bought a coin, this same cat coin with $100, and the cat coin pumped to 20,000%, which is 20,000 divided by 100, so it was 200, multiplied by times the hundred dollar that you bought you used in buying this cat coin. This is how much you're going to make. Twenty thousand dollars with just hundred dollar. This is why people just get so wealthy by just buying some coins and holding it for some time. So in this video, I'm going to show you major things you have to put in consideration. I mean, major mistakes that you don't need to try. You don't need to make any of these mistakes while you're signing up for a new exchange. Please have this in mind because if you make this mistake, it's going to cost you. It might cost you a whole lot later in the future. So the number one mistake that you don't need to make while trying to sign up for a new exchange, some people call it wallet, but I call it exchange, is make sure that the email that you're going to open, that you're going to use to sign up for your exchange is registered with your original phone number. When I mean original phone number, a phone number that is registered in your name. Now, the second mistake that you have to put in consideration is make sure that your account is fully verified before you fund a huge amount of money into your exchange. It is very, very important. Make sure you fully verify your account. You put your ID card, whether your national ID, whether your driving license, whether your international passport, any means of government approved ID. And that the exchange has verified ID and approved it and now verify your account. So make sure your account is fully verified. Now the third thing you have to put in consideration, which is a mistake I wouldn't want any of you to make, is to make sure that the phone number you're using is registered in your own name and in your own national ID or your driving license because this is the major reason why I'm doing this video. This is actually the main thing that cost my friends to lose all that money. So please, make sure that the number you're using to open your exchange is fully registered with your own name and in your own ID so that if anything happens to it, you can be able to recover the number. I don't know about any other country, but in my own country, if you lose your phone number, it's registered in your name. No other person can retrieve the number except you. The only person that can retrieve the number is the actual person that has the same name and the ID card in the system. Now, the fourth thing you have to Note you have to put in consideration, don't make this mistake. Once you open any exchange with your phone number, please 
make sure you log in that same account in the laptop. Make sure you log in that account. Try and log it in in the laptop or in the computer. So the number fifth one is make sure that the password you're using to open your exchange is not the same password with your email or with your social media platform. Make sure that the password is quite different from any of your social media passwords. Now the sixth one, which is the last one, but not the least, make sure that you save every single information, email, password, phrases, every single thing that you get from any exchange. Find somewhere very safe and save it in a soft copy. Maybe in your Dropbox, maybe, I don't know, in your email, wherever you want to save it. Make sure you have all the passwords or emails and all the phrases or six digit codes for doing your transaction. Make sure you save all those information inside your Dropbox, email, anywhere you think that will be very safe that you can be able to access it at any time you want. Meanwhile, for those of you that would like to sign up for an account in Binance, get.io or KuCoin, I'll put a referral link below this video. And use my referral link to sign up for your new account. That's the only way you can support me and assist me with the information that I'm giving you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. You guys should stay creative.